Good morning everybody. I'm at St Bees. It's 7.30. I slept at the campsite just up the way last night. Didn't sleep very well. A little bit excited, a little bit nervous. Uh, birds started singing at about 5am this morning which was delightful. And uh, this is the view we've got now. Going to be heading up the cliffs behind me very very soon. And it's really nice to be back here. made it up to the cliff top. It's only about half a mile from the start, so I've not traveled far, but there's a beautiful lookout point. So it's well worth taking a moment to soak up the view. View of the hills, pillar, steeple, great gable, then out to sea. And if it was clear, we would be looking at the Isle of Man just over there on the horizon. I saw her last night, but today it's not to be. Coming round, I can just make out Dumfries and Galloway in the far distance and also just the top of Tarn Flat Lighthouse, which I will be walking to very, very shortly. It's nice walking out here. The field's full of sheep and lambs, the wild garlic's coming up, the bluebells, loads of birds in the hedgerows. All the hedgerows are kind of greening up and the trees are ready to burst into life. There's lots of sounds around as well. Some fighter jet action over the sea, trains, the unfortunate sound of gunshot as I passed a farm earlier. And I got a view of Dent uh, just a little while ago across these fields. It didn't inspire me. Uh, looks a lot bigger than I remembered. I'll have to have some food perhaps before I tackle that. There's a fine old selection of stone gateposts at the beginning of Dent Fell. There's just two and a very impressive set over here if you're into such things. Here we are then, the top of Dent, 352 metres high. Not very big, I know. It was enough effort for this afternoon. Uh, just looking at the Lakeland Hills behind, back out to Scotland. It'll do, it'll do. So I'm gonna leave here, head over towards Ennerdale Bridge. Maybe the pub's open, maybe, Swift Half. And then I'm going to keep going around Zenadale Water. It'll be a big day, maybe 19, 20 miles. And I'll be honest, my feet are complaining. Um, they're feeling very delicate. I pride myself on the fact that my feet normally don't blister at all, ever. Um, but these feet have become delicate little things. And uh, I can feel the weight of the pack going through my legs and into my feet. And the soles of my feet are really sore. Uh, a few hot spots. I've had a little look. And uh, yeah, I'm bracing myself for some sore feet this week, but hey ho, I'm sure it'll be worth it.
Here we are at Ennerdale Water. It's a beautiful still evening. I'm about 15 miles in for today with another, another maybe three miles to go till I make a nice camp somewhere later. This water's home to Arctic char, freshwater mussels, spawning salmon, also the legendary, uh, this area is renowned for the legendary Gert dog of Ennerdale. And I was reading recently that there used to be beehives here in the 1800s, which I found quite curious. So we're just approaching the little scrambly section, if you want to call it that. And it's just, just up here. And it might look a little bit gnarly, but there's so many uh, little platforms and steps of rock to use that it's pretty straightforward. That was it, about five steps.